NASA's Perseverance rover was meant to hunt for signs of ancient life and cache samples for future return to Earth. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, the car-sized robot, which is exploring Jezero Crater on Mars, has been successfully carrying out its extraterrestrial duties, and recently, it managed to snag another Red Planet sample for eventual shipment to Earth. Here's everything we know about the rover picking up its lucky 13th rock sample and more. First things first, a little about the Mars 2020 mission. NASA's Perseverance rover wasn't just exploring the Red Planet. The life-hunting robot also helped a little bit of Mars make it to Earth. On February 18, 2021, NASA's $2.7 billion Mars 2020 mission centerpiece, Perseverance, touched down inside the Red Planet's Jezero crater. Once fully operational, the car-sized robot began searching for evidence of past microbial life and collecting several dozen samples for future return to Earth, among other lofty goals. NASA Acting Administrator Steve Jerzyk told Space.com shortly before Perseverance landed that the agency had never had a mission that would contribute so much to both science and technology. He went on to say that it was truly incredible. In a post that also featured photos of the newly collected sample, JPL officials took to Twitter on Tuesday, October 4th, to express their excitement. A beautiful sight for collecting lucky rock core number 13, currently nerding out over this fine-grained sample and aiming to get another like it from this area. Hashtag sampling Mars. Moving on, NASA is nerding out over its 13th sample for Mars. A dainty cylinder of pencil-width rock is a wonderful reason to rejoice. NASA's Perseverance rover has taken its 13th core sample from Mars Jezero Crater. This sample, like others in its recent collection, could reveal information about the history of water and possibly even microbial life on Mars. The rover has been collecting rock samples in pairs in order to have extras if necessary. NASA is working on a Mars sample return mission to receive Percy's rock collection and return it to Earth for study. The core sample is extra special because an earlier attempt to examine a fine-grained rock failed in September. Percy attempted to abrade a patch of an intriguing rock, but instead broke it. As a result, the rock could not be used for drilling or sampling. The rover team, on the other hand, didn't cry over the cracked rock. While abrasion proximity science was not possible on this target, team member Eleanor Moreland of Rice University wrote in a mission update last week that they learned about the cohesiveness and strength of the rock, as well as how to observe and compare freshly broken and weathered rock surfaces. The rover's operators set about finding a new sampling location. Perseverance is exploring an ancient river delta region that scientists are particularly excited about because it may be the mission's best chance of discovering evidence of past microbial life. The presence of organic matter in rocks from this area has already been revealed by the rover's onboard laboratory capabilities. It's an exciting first find, but it's not proof of ancient life. The latest core sample is yet another reason to be excited about returning those rocks to Earth. Now, let's talk about why the Perseverance rover looks so familiar. Perseverance may look familiar because it's based on its predecessor, the Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity rover, which landed in August 2012 and is still going strong today. The Perseverance rover, like Curiosity, was built by engineers and scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. According to NASA officials, roughly 85% of Perseverance's mass is based on Curiosity's heritage hardware, saving the agency time and money while also significantly reducing risk. Perseverance is about 10 feet long, 9 feet wide, and 7 feet tall, not including its robotic arm. Perseverance weighs less than a compact car at 2,260 pounds. Perseverance, like Curiosity, has a rectangular body, six wheels, a robotic arm, a drill for rock sampling, cameras, and scientific instruments. However, those instruments are very different from the equipment aboard Curiosity because the two rovers have very different goals. Curiosity's primary mission will be to assess the habitability of ancient Mars, while Perseverance will search for evidence of ancient Martians. According to George Tahu, NASA's Perseverance program executive, Perseverance's seven instruments are based on the success of MSL, which served as a testing ground for a new technology. He described how these will collect scientific data in previously unimaginable ways. Perseverance also used the same entry, descent, and landing strategy as Curiosity. Both rovers sped into Mars' atmosphere, deployed a supersonic parachute after friction slowed them down enough, and were then gently lowered to the red dirt on cables by a rocket-powered sky crane. Up next, some of the upgrades Perseverance has. Curiosity lacked some EDL upgrades that Perseverance had. For example, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, which manages the Mars 2020 mission, developed terrain relative navigation, a new landing technology. The rover used a computer to compare the landscape with preloaded terrain maps as it descended through the Martian skies, guiding itself to a safe landing site and making corrections on the way down. Another new feature, Range Trigger, used location and velocity data to determine when to open the supersonic parachute, cutting the landing ellipse in half. Perseverance has nearly five times the number of cameras as the first Mars rover. Sojourner, which landed in 1997, had only five cameras, while the twin rovers Spirit and Opportunity, which landed in 2004, had 10 cameras each. Curiosity has seven
17 points. What's more, Perseverance is equipped with 23 cameras. Several of them captured the rover's arrival on Mars in historic and unprecedented detail. According to Jim Bell of Arizona State University, the principal investigator for Perseverance's Mastcam Z camera system, some of Perseverance's cameras provide more color and 3D imaging than Curiosity can collect. The letter Z stands for Zoom, which is one of the enhancements to Curiosity's high-definition mast cam. Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity have all captured 1 megapixel black and white images with their engineering cameras, which aid in navigation and hazard avoidance. Perseverance's engineering cameras, on the other hand, capture high-resolution 20 megapixel color images. Because of their wider field of view, the new cameras can capture the same view in a single snapshot, rather than taking multiple images to be stitched together on the ground. The cameras also reduce motion blur, allowing them to take pictures while the rover is moving. More detailed images imply more data to send into space. Moving on, here's a few odd things Perseverance brought to Mars on its mission. NASA has been festooning spacecraft and rovers for decades, adding fun extras to their journeys into space. One of the objects on Perseverance pays tribute to this history. A plate attached to the rover depicts Earth, the Sun, and Mars, all connected by Morse code lines reading, Explore as One. The same plate that pays homage to NASA's Voyager and Pioneer plaques bears a special message. Three microchips with a total of 10,932,295 names. Courtesy of NASA's Send Your Name to Mars campaign, this has become a tradition for NASA's Mars rovers. The agency's most recent Mars rover, Curiosity, was equipped with a microchip containing 1.2 million names. A tribute to the healthcare workers who have been fighting the coronavirus pandemic here on Earth is also included on the rover. The rover was launched in July 2020, just a few months after the virus first appeared in the United States. Mastcam Z, a pair of zoomable cameras mounted on the rover to capture color panoramas of Mars. According to NASA, the camera also contains an important message. Are we the only ones? We came here to look for signs of life and to collect Mars samples for further research on Earth. We wish those who come after us a safe journey and the joy of discovery. Geocachers will be pleased to learn that the rover team hid a special coin made of helmet visor material on one of the instruments. Finally, the scientists who worked on Perseverance's SuperCam included their own piece of Martian meteorite. SuperCam is a laser installed on the rover that vaporizes bits of the Martian surface to determine its composition. Finally, now that NASA has samples, what are they planning? Perseverance's rover team members are preparing for an ambitious future phase of the mission, sending these samples to Earth possibly as soon as 2033. The Sample Return Campaign, a collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency, provides an excellent opportunity to look for signs of ancient Mars life, as billions of years ago, the Jezero Crater once hosted a large lake and a river delta. Perseverance is supposed to deliver the rock cores to a NASA sample return lander, which will also carry a small rocket. The samples will be launched into Mars orbit, where they will collide with an ESA-provided Earth return orbiter. Except for Perseverance, all of this hardware is still in development. Simultaneously, NASA is extending the design lifetime of the Ingenuity helicopter that accompanied Perseverance to the surface in February 2021, and the helicopter is performing well, presenting an opportunity for future drone development. Indeed, the success of Ingenuity is already influencing NASA's Mars exploration plans. For example, the two fetch helicopters that will launch with the sample return lander will be very similar to Ingenuity. Ingenuity was originally rated for only five flights, but is now hoping to more than sevenfold that number. Its most recent flight, its 33rd, took place in late September. Although it landed safely, officials are investigating a piece of debris that fell harmlessly from one of the legs during the flight. That's a wrap for this video. Are you guys excited to see what NASA's next space venture could be? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.